Don't forget to go to ashkicking.com for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance products. Hi, my name is Jeronica and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. <laughs> that was very good. Let's 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 do just maybe one or two more, okay? Yo, I'm about to catch this plane in a few minutes, but Anthony, get up with your man Eddie and Barry Hearn and tell them to check their email. I got something special for you. And by the way, all the money's in the bag. So I expect you'll be a man of your word. Okay. I'll take 50 million up front. If that's the case, Wilder's team, bring me 50 million up front and we'll take the fight. I'll see you soon then. Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So, as you guys just heard in that exchange right there, clearly Anthony Joshua he demanded fifty million dollars for this fight, guaranteed if he is going to get in the ring with Deontay Wilder next. And Deontay Wilder and Team Wilder they oblige uh, Anthony Joshua by saying, "We can guarantee you get exactly what you are requesting." Now, Anthony Joshua's immediate reaction and response to Team Wilder offering the $50 million that Anthony Joshua asked for as just a publicity stunt. Eddie Hearn, he said, if they're serious, they need to contact me directly. Matter of fact, let me quote exactly what he had to say about the offer. He said, it's not a case of we sign a contract and they go and raise the money. If you've got it, show us it. Then we can talk. I spoke to AJ, he knows the situation, but we need to know if it's real. We want to see the money and know where it is. There's a real chance this fight could happen. We're not looking to be difficult. So Deontay Wilder's team, they responded immediately. And this is what Wilder's manager, Shelly Finkel, had to say. He sent an open letter directly to Eddie Hearn. And this is what he said, Dear Eddie, with all due respect, you know Al and I for a long time, and you know this is not a publicity stunt. I, I assure you that we're serious and we would be glad to sit down with you and provide proper security for the funding and work out all detail. But it all has to start with Anthony Joshua accepting the $50 million offer that he asked for, which is also by far the largest guarantee and largest purse any heavyweight champion in history has ever made. Until then, it would be non-productive to me Please have Anthony accept the offer that he asked for and let's get this fight made. Thanks, Shelly. So we we see how serious Shelly and Team Wilder, we see how serious they are about making this fight come to fruition. They are aggressively calling out Anthony Joshua and doing whatever it takes to make the fight. And you, you guys have to understand, it makes sense when Shelly Finkel says, listen, all we want Anthony Joshua to do is agree that he will accept the $50 million. They're not saying we want Anthony Joshua to just sign some blind contract. They're saying just agree that you will accept the $50 million to fight Deontay Wilder. Because he's basically saying there's no reason to do all this work coming up with the 50 million and then all of a sudden, Eddie Hearn, he says, well, you know, just because Anthony said that, that didn't guarantee he was still gonna fight Deontay Wilder. I mean, this is similar to the request that Anthony Joshua's promoter Eddie Hearn made when he suggested that Deontay Wilder should fight Dillian White before he gets to fight Anthony Joshua. And then once again, Deontay Wilder, he obliged them. He called their bluff and he said, you know what? I will fight Dillian White as long as Anthony Joshua's name is attached to the contract. And that's when Eddie Hearn said, oh, well, we can't guarantee that. So this is the reason why Shelly Finkel is saying to Team Joshua, if we come up with this $50 million you guys are requesting, do you guys promise that you will take the fight? As Deontay Wilder said, will Anthony Joshua be a man of his word if we give them exactly what they're asking for? So with this much pressure that Team Wilder is putting on Anthony Joshua, I'm optimistic and I'm inclined to believe that this fight is actually going to happen. I, I just can't see how Anthony Joshua 
can turn down the request that he asked for. Anthony Joshua, he was inspired by Floyd Mayweather's financial success because he talked about this and he said he wanted to be somewhat of the richest boxer ever. And just like Shelly Finkel said, this $50 million guarantee offer, it will be the biggest purse that a heavyweight fighter has ever been guaranteed. And you know, something that Eddie Hearn said that I thought was a little odd, to say the least, is when he said, it's not a case of we sign a contract and they go and raise the money. If you got it, show us it, and then we can talk. Why I think that's a little odd is because Eddie Hearn, he knows Al Heyman more than a lot of people do. He's worked with Al Heyman. Eddie Hearn, he knows that Al Heyman doesn't have to raise money to guarantee a $50 million offer. I mean, no one questioned Eddie Hearn or Anthony Joshua when there was talks of a guaranteed $12.5 million being offered to Deontay Wilder. My point is, you're not dealing with some nobody off the streets working for the Homeboy Shopping Network. You're dealing with Al Heyman, okay? You're dealing with Al Heyman. We know what Al Heyman is worth. And once again, all Deontay Wilder and Team Wilder want Anthony Joshua to do is be a man of his word and accept the $50 million that he is requesting and demanding to make this fight come to fruition. There is nothing for Anthony Joshua to lose by just agreeing to the $50 million. So let's see what Team Joshua says after this um, letter that Team Wilder sent to them. That's all I got.